A story, a witness, a symbol. The Independence Palace, also known as Reunification Palace, stands tall in the heart of Ho Chi Minh City, Vietnam. Its history, as intricate as the designs that embellish its walls, dates back to the 19th century. The tale of the Independence Palace begins in 1868, with the construction of a residence for the French governor of Cochinchina, Norodom Palace. This majestic structure, with its French colonial architecture, bore witness to the changing tides of power for over 80 years. In 1954, with the departure of the French, the palace became the residence of Ngo Dinh Diem, the President of the Republic of Vietnam. A new era dawned in 1962, when a coup attempt led to the bombing of Norodom Palace, leaving it in ruins. From these ruins rose the phoenix that is the Independence Palace we know today. Designed by architect Ngo Viet Thu, the modern Independence Palace was a symbol of the aspirations of a new Vietnam. Completed in 1966, it was an architectural marvel, merging Eastern philosophy and Western styles. However, the palace was destined to witness more turmoil. On April 30, 1975, the gates of the palace were crashed open by a North Vietnamese tank, marking the end of the Vietnam War. The palace was renamed the Reunification Palace, symbolizing the reunification of North and South Vietnam. Fast forward to today, the palace stands as a testament to the resilience of the Vietnamese people. It serves as a museum, a venue for official receptions, and sometimes a location for filming historical documentaries. Its rooms, preserved as they were in 1975, tell tales of a bygone era. The bunker, with its wartime maps and equipment, takes one back to the days of the war. The grand halls, once the stage for official receptions, now welcome tourists from around the world. The palace's rooftop, with its heliport, serves as a reminder of the palace's strategic importance. So, what have we learned today? The Independence Palace, a symbol of Vietnam's history, has been a silent spectator to the changing tides of power. From a French colonial building to the residence of the Republic of Vietnam's president, from ruins to a modern architectural marvel, it has seen it all. Its walls echo with the tales of a turbulent past, while its present role as a museum ensures that these tales are not forgotten. The Independence Palace, with its rich history and current status, serves as a testament to Vietnam's journey from a colonized nation to a unified, independent country. It stands not just as a building, but as a symbol of resilience, a beacon of history, and a testament to the spirit of Vietnam.